the election took place in Russia, and uh, President Putin, without a doubt, filled the expectations completely, received 87% of the vote, uh, was voted in as president again of Russia. Actually, in the first decade or more of his rule, we saw a serious attempt by Russia to integrate into the West. In fact, G7 meetings often had his presence as G8. He really believed during that period that the West would accept Russia as a partner, or as an integrated part of the West. He discovered how wrong he was. Not only are they not considering him partner, they've always looked at him as a potential enemy. What we saw, for example, the expansion of NATO eastward, all the way to Russia's border. This is very clear that whatever they were saying to him about being friends, by action, they didn't see Russia as a potential partner or a friend or integrated part of the West. I think there are many reasons for it. One is that the West has, especially the United States, has to create another enemy always another enemy so that the military industrial complex can continue to get the budget it wants, as it is now using China as an excuse for national security reasons. They are expanding their military budget once again. For Russia, I think the last number of years, last six or seven years, it's been very clear now to President Putin that there's no way he will be integrated into the West as a full partner. He's learned his lesson, and he's taking a very tough stance, very rough, against further expansion of NATO eastbound. At the same time, what we saw was the further integration of the economies of China and Russia. Russia provides a low-cost energy, low-cost raw material, agricultural produce, and many other things. And China produced for the bilateral relationship plenty of manufactured products, household products, automobiles, and so on. What the West did in sanctioning Russia and blocking all trade, basically, of major Western firms with Russia has actually created a synergy between the Chinese and the Russian markets. Now that it's becoming increasingly integrated into one complete cycle of supply chain, Russia actually saw a growth in its economy last year. And I think so far, strategically, the two leaders, President Xi and President Putin, are well aware of the necessity of collaboration, strategic partnership to, number one, improve the lives of its people, but number two, to collectively, with the global south, together create a more balanced international system to address a number of issues which have been brought up internationally, including climate change, including peace, including the disruption created by proxies by the US. There is, of course, an interesting scenario being portrayed as a possibility. President Trump, when he becomes President Trump, will immediately restore relations with Russia, improve relations with Russia, will stop supporting Ukraine and end the war and be friends with Russia again. Now, this is a scenario that's being portrayed by some in Washington. Would it happen? Could it happen? There could be some collaboration by the US side to force Ukraine to stop the fighting and give up the battle, I think. It's possible that there will be improvement of relations. What has happened over the course of the last several years, I think it's difficult to reverse, reverse the attack that US government and the Western governments have made on Russia, the thousands of sanctions applied against Russia, the freezing of Russian assets, and so on and so forth. Much of this is going to be very difficult to reverse, and I think President Putin has certainly learned his lesson that the Americans are not reliable, can't be counted on. U.S. president is changed, policies can change. 
the relationships are not strategic, not based on underlying principles. So it is possible that there will be an improvement of Russian and U.S. relations, but it would not be a fundamental transformation. I think it's unlikely that Russia would turn again to the West anytime soon. I think the deepening of the collaboration between China and Russia will continue. The combined forces of working out a more equal, more fair, more respectful international network, international system will continue. And the collaboration with the Global South will strengthen it even further. So good luck to President Putin on his next term of presidency.